Great. Sorry about All that. Alright. Here we are. The streams are the teams are locked and ready to go. Yes. Let's do it. Ah, uh, wait. Don't press go. Have you checked your settings? Yeah, the settings. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Your view mode is on both. <laughs> almost. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> Have some sneaky cameras. Listen, it's been a little while, okay? I haven't done this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, they're both locked, so. Yes, I think it's about time we started. Yep, yeah, right on time. Bang. 485 versus 475. That's a bit low tonnage, isn't it? For this format. Mm. What's the max? Because it would be... 530, is it? Somewhere around there. Trying to yeah, 530, out. it is. 530. So they're, they're dropping yeah, quite a bit under tonnage. 60 tons under. It's interesting. Be would have thought it would have been more around the 500 range or so. Maybe not max max, but you know, let's have a look what the teams have got. So for DPS, we have a Stalker 7D, Laser Vomit. A Night Gear with Dakar. Another Stalker Laser Vomit. Another Night Gear with Dakar. Javelin heavy machine guns, fire starter small pulse, and two small pulse phoenix hawks. We're going to the other side. So for the other side, it's sort of the same thing. We've got Stalker 5S, Firestarter A, Phoenix Hawk 2, Jade Kite, Night Gear, Blood Asp Rancor. Yeah, two Jade Kites and. Two Phoenix Hawk Dragons teams. are a lot more. They're a lot more tradey. They got an ER large, ER large Blood Asp, and both their Night Gears are Gorse ER large, and their Stalker is, is um, ER large as well. Ah, yes, the blue lasers. Yeah. So DPS have gone mid range, and EU have gone long range. Ah, oh, and they got medium pulse Phoenix Hawks, not small pulse. Yeah, they do the have small have pulse fire starters though. Here. Yeah, so basically DPS from this point are going to have to push around this corner. So they've just got to make sure they time it correctly so their assaults can get around at the same time. Don't want their lights going too quick. And it looks like they're going to have to push. They're going to notice all the blue lasers on Dragoons. Looks These like Phoenix Hawks up. better be careful. I mean, I know they can easily get away, but... Ooh. No. DPS, you really gotta you you gotta push this corner. You can't stay here. The longer they stay here, the more they get traded out of range. The worse it is for them. Yeah, this they just is. Have to send it over. This is not. Yep, there we go. Fire starters, javelins heading. Yep, the push is underway. Good call there. One of the night gears has already made it over the other side of the canyon. Of the looks like the oh phoenix, phoenix hawks almost legged. He's gonna go demon hunter. There he goes. Bang. So good focus there. Who are they gonna focus next? Looks like they're, they're no, split splitting their fire now. For the blood asp. Which looks like a messy well, DPS are looking pretty good so far. They haven't really... Oh, Lady Wolf is almost headshot in that stalker. Cherry red head. That's why she's red at 83%. Wow, that's not good. That would have been a dual gore shot. Dubious Squirrel goes down, so that's two from EU down. Uh, awesome guys, the javelin goes down, so that's happening in the light fight in the canyon. Yep, looks like Fritzer's gonna get killed here. He's going down to two lights. Read this down. It's pretty messy push, but it looks like DPS are gonna come out on front pretty handily. Yeah, I think it worked out for him. Yep. Phoenix Hawks still doing some work up there. Karakakis. Fire started almost legged. Yeah, there's not enough. I don't think there's enough left on the field at the moment. Yeah, the fire starter has been legged already, so this is. Yeah, he's, and his le other leg is really damaged. There he goes. Yep. Ah, oh, and the other one's Karakaka self destructed from the Phoenix Hawk. Too hot. And they're going to go the legs on Paradox 42 here, and that'll be all she wrote. Nice push. I'm glad that they didn't stay too long. I thought they were going to stall on that corner. So I'm happy that they didn't stall in the corner there. 
Lady have survived despite the cherry red head. Yeah, I was surprised. And their um their SPL Phoenix Hawks are pretty pretty fresh. We had two crash. What does that mean? Here on in the other stalkers open orange. He's pretty hurt. But the Nike has still got all his armor too, so a pretty good push, pretty strong. Yeah, I was surprised that there were no AC2s or anything. Yeah, I think EU were expecting um were expecting more of a trade game. Yeah, I feel as the Nike B disconnected. It must have been what Lady was talking about. Disconnected with 419 damage. Hmm. Yeah, he would have disconnected like towards the end. Alright, well there's match one. Match one done. Nice mid range mid range basically deck. Versus a ER large long range. Okay. Oh, there's two disconnects. Look at that. Direwolf saying feel us. Luckily, they must have disconnected pretty, pretty far into the game. Otherwise, that could have been pretty bad. You don't have. You're not switching teams. No, you're not doing that. Stop that there. Put them back. Didn't move them yet. Put them back. <laughs> one, two, three is for this week is team one. So you just need to go domination and map. Domination, don't it. Ah, okay. Yeah. There was some confusion with that. The, um, originally it was meant to be a different format. I think it was one one two two one or something like that, but but yeah, this week at least it's one 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 and then two two. So drop three and five. We s do we switch then? I thought no, it was spicy. No, drop, drop, drop four and five. Ah, okay, so that's when we switch. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. For this week, it's it's one, 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 and then two, two. Oh. So you switch. You just switch once, the last. But for the the weeks after this one, it's going to be a different format. There was some confusion about that. Um, it was only picked up on, like, I think there was a problem with the rules. It was only picked up on, like, Wednesday this week, so we couldn't really... You know, after all the teams have been preparing for week one, you can't really switch it midweek just before the matches. Yeah, I'm I'm fucking confused now. <laughs> just change it to Tomline Desert, and then we don't have to do anything else. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Um. Anyway, yeah, we. I mean, there has been a few other casts, but just to explain the format for anyone who's not who's watching and doesn't know, it's an, obviously an eight v eight tournament. It goes. Conquest, Domination, Conquest, Domination, Conquest. So there's three Conquest matches, two Domination matches. Um, you get points for each drop you win. And of course, overall, you know, whoever wins three will win the matchup. It's old school, um, it's sort of like old school World Champions format, where it's two lights, two mediums, two heavies, two assaults each drop. Um, you can have duplicates on each drop, as you would have just seen in that one if you're watching. But there's a max of three chassis across all five drops. So, just say the teams have both used two Phoenix Hawks this first drop. They've only got one more to use for the rest of the four drops. And that's all they can use. Any mechs available to purchase for Seabills and MC. You know, they're able to be used. So that includes all hero mechs, so you could technically drop eight hero mechs. Um... And if they're special variants, um, as long as the same variant is available to purchase in game, then you're right. So, for example, the, I think the urban urban mech loyalty variant got released for Seabills this 
like this week maybe even um so you can use that and you can use the the loyalty variant of that herb mat because it's not any different from the one you can purchase for seed bills that's some of the generals geez these teams are reading up fast bear I, th I don't know if we're I don't know if we're used to like Div A matches where it takes <laughs> takes the Div A teams like the whole five minutes, but man, they're quick, eh? Yeah, it's nice. They're not it's messing very about. Nice. Uh, this is the exciting part about. Don't, don't launch matches. it though, because I've just they're all they're all ready for a second there, but they're missing it. They're missing a player. Yeah, they're DPS they're missing are missing people. one player. Like so, that's a tip for anyone you know new to comp who's watching this and is participating in this competition. Make sure you never never ready up your whole team when you're really not ready. Because just hit that, hit that ready go button, and it's like it's all done and dusted. Do you think we'll see another push? Do you think DPS are going to push again? I think so because I've seen a lot of DPS groups just blitzing people in in soup. So I figured that's what they were practicing. <laughs> the old, the old soup Q scouting hat. Huh? Ah oh, man, just I've seen. That so is much one of thing it. though with it to when it's like a four. If it's it's a four man soup right group. If you do a traditional split of of four fast guys and then four big guys, you can quite easily like build synergy playing soup. But sneaky sneaky bear claws might be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never who know who's out there keeping tabs. Despite the fact that bear's not actually playing this competition. Actually, I think I put you on the roster in the end. Oh goodness gracious! Not I've, again. Kept your ex I've kept your <laughs> exclusivity for myself. No free agents here, but probably mainly casting, right? Rather than playing. Yeah, I'd like that for a change. Just nice break before WC starts. Mm. There is actually there's the five v five tournament before World Championship starts. That's going to be a tight squeeze. So in terms of like the MWO comp schedule. I don't know, I just feel like there's too many comps, you know, burnout start to set in after this one. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't think um like I don't think I'll get JGX to play in the five v five comp. Of course if some of the guys want to make their own team, they can do it, but I think it'll be a good time to break because the world the world championship at the end of the year can be quite a grind. We don't need to make that any bigger. Right. Looks like Darwell Singh has locked his team at four ninety five. Just realize European Dragoons are very like, you know, they're embod they're embodying the Euro feel. None of them have the same unit tag at all. <laughs> they're all unique. Yeah, they're all like 228, Drone yeah. Synergy. No, they're, they're all different, Ever, literally anyone. <laughs> I, like, I like that, it's cool. Uh, let's, push, let's punch it. So 495, that's more of, that's more of a, a weight I was thinking. 475, again, for Euro Dragoons, that's pretty light. I mean, you might in this form, because it's domination, you might want, you know, a flea, for example, to make sure you get the circle as quickly as possible. So might have might have been stripping some tonnage there. Yeah, what really concerns me is that these these low tonnage drops. There's not a lot of armor on the field, and they may have favored mobility. Yep. Lovely Tourmaline Desert. Very classic map competition map. Yeah, Domination, it's um, it's a bit questionable. The South team really has a lot of the Dom Circle. There's only very few spaces the, the North team can really, really hold it successfully. So let's have a look. European Dragoons, we have... Just wait for the drops so I can click. Direwolf, Gorse, ER Large, ER Large, Blood Asp, ER Large, Grasshopper, Regular Machine Gun, ER Small Laser, Miss Links. And they're heading straight and for another. Delta 5, already trading. Yeah. Another same Miss Links. Laser Vomit, Hunchback 2C, ER Large, Virago, and a ER Large. They got a lot of ER Large. They're spamming ER Large hard. So, a DPS going to trade? Looks like they are, right? Mm, yep. They sort are. of, yeah. Dire Wolf B, yep. Grasshopper 5H. Yeah, it's 5 ER large, 2 Gorse Rifle, Dire Wolf, by the way. So, PPC Summoner, the DPS. Yeah, ER large, Grasshopper, yeah, they're definitely trading. 
Yeah, both DPS and the Dragoons have the same sort of direwolf. Five year large. Now, so this guys. is interesting. So DPS have gone four traders, right? And then four, like a wolf pack, short range wolf pack. The problem is, Euro Dragoons have six traders and two mechs. Which means that DPS pretty much can't win the trade game. Yeah, they'll have unless to they them. like heavily outskill Euro Dragoons, which I'm not I'm not sure they will. So at some point this wolf pack from DPS is just gonna have to try and gank the the misslings holding the so circle. Good. At least, at the very least. Be a squirrel is getting really hurt. He's already at sixty percent. That's not good. Yeah, because he's so like they're so heavily outnumbered in the trades. Mm hmm yeah, so yeah, another Gorse, 5 yard large. He's um, not open yet, apart from getting hit by a strike in the back, but... Oh, he's... yeah, he's getting chunked. I'm just watching these four DPS mechs in the canyon, waiting for a move to happen. Mm. They're gonna have to make the move. They have to... they have to try and gank some of these. At least push them out of the circle to put the pressure on. But DPS is increased on the timer too, so... They might be just waiting. Yeah, well, I think that's a mistake because presuming they keep actively trading or at least doing something, um, Euro Dragoons would have slowly whittled them all down, presumably. Yeah, it's so not like 46%. Conquest where you can wait. Yeah, so you got to hold it for 12 minutes. That's a long time. And yeah, look, the, the bald one in his direwolf, he's open... His his right torso with which I presume has all the gorse, that's the typical build, is yeah, he's about to lose it. Yeah, he is he is done trading, that's for sure. Yep. We're still shooting, jeez. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's getting amongst it. He'll lose that right torso and he'll have a, only a, a few he's a dial of B as well, so he'll have two ER large left once he loses that right torso. Oh, looks like Lady Wolf and the others are going into the Death Valley now. Mm. Thinking about it. Oh, come on, come on, just push. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it's a difficult one to call, honestly. In which way they need to go. I think at this point they would just need to start somewhere. Yeah. I have a feeling just running straight through the middle, though, would be the best bet. Because the traders on Euro Dragoons really can't shoot the middle that much without exposing themselves a lot. See, Fritzor's poking up there now, and he's getting shot immediately, so he has to back down. Yeah, Kerry Kerkus is watching Echo 7, though. He's he's waiting for those mechs to show up. Yeah, there's three there. Black Lantern, Phoenix Hawk, Firestarter, but... <clears throat> it's a lot of space to cover. Looks like they're on the move. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Doctor Doctor Cat has spotted them immediately doing that flanking maneuver. Yeah, the hunchback has left already, so they're they're yeah, trying to respond, off, yeah. but it is difficult. They've only they've got six traders and only two mislinks, so it's it is hard to move the pack, and they're sticking together as a result. Yeah, that hunchback is just legging it, legging it to Charlie Seven. Yeah, it could. Bloody oath, he should <laughs> get out of there. Triple wolf pack chasing you. Oh, we did get some scratch on them. Mm. Apart from bald guy, everyone's fairly like going all right. Let's have a look at Paradox. Uh, Paradox is open CT, so he's actually losing those trades. Don't know if he's been over trading or trading the same spot too much, but he is he is open orange CT. Looks like the Firestar is going to jump on Leonidas here. He's gone in yeah, alone. I don't, uh -oh. I don't know if that's wise. What they're doing. I'm not sure if this is the way to go. Uh oh. Oh goodness. I don't think that mm. Firestarter is very happy. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, both his legs are red. One's open now. And he just needs to stay away from there. That's what I mean. Look, look how many mechs are looking at them right now. Yeah, I think that's the tough part. Is just all these mechs turned around and looked at him. Yeah. As I said, I think you'd have much more success bullying this Miss Lynx that's trying to hold the circle than trying to flank and shoot them in the rear. <clears throat> oh, looks like I've bugged out. Now I'm only going forward. Oh no. Yeah, look, the flea's, the flea's trying to find the Miss Lynx. 
He couldn't find him. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, he must. He has him on. He has him on the UAV. So go shoot him. Oh yeah, here they are. He's trying to find him. Look, he can't see where he is. <laughs> He's been <laughs> hidden in the crystals. <laughs> oh, barely. Just barely missed him. It's yeah. See, that's what I mean. Imagine if you had the black lander there and the flea. Like the miss leaks gets dunked on, and then you've got the circle. Yeah, that the Hunchback and the Mislinks are fighting over in this corner. That should be... Yeah, this, this Hunchback should die. Why is the other guy bailing? Why is Lady Wolf running away? Take that fight all day. Maybe she doesn't know there's not more coming. The yeah, Mislinks is open. Look. Now. Yeah, but that's that was a huge mistake for Lady Wolf to do that. To run away from that situation. They could have easily killed both of them. Yeah, now the Black Lantern's legged. The fleet came in. Yeah. The flea will lose, probably die. I mean, sorry, the mislings. Pardon me. Yeah, dubious screw and the mislings probably will die. But that black lander didn't need to get legged, and this hunchback definitely didn't need to be able to escape there. Why are you running? It looks like they're gonna get Caracaracus here, but at the cost of a phoenix hawk. Uh oh. The Phoenix Hawk and Black Lantern are legged. The Firestarter is dead. Ouch, that's not looking good. They have one fast one left. Oh, but look, the timer. The timer's going down. Five seconds. Three, two, oh, oh they're back in. Okay, I'm done being bugged with the camera. This is cool. The traders have pushed. Okay, looks like the DPS traders have come in on fresh mechs. That's oh, that's really bad. Nice recovery by, I guess I should say reception by European dragoons. A lot of blue lasers. The leg lights are still doing things in the back. Being the dire wolf. Oh, he's dead. Uh, it's, it's getting down to the wire here. It does look like it's in EU Dragoon's favor. DPS was just one second off. One second off from winning that conquest, or the domination circle. Oh, looks like both Miss Lynxes are dead now. It's three on four. Oh, there's the flea. Okay, two on four. Legged Black Lighter, Legged Phoenix Hawk versus... Three ER Large Traitors. The Rancor is still alive. That's weird. Oh, Hellbringer's down. 2v3. Both of these mechs are incredibly hurt. I don't understand how they're alive. What the heck? Oh, there goes Lady Wolf. And I'm bugged again. Target spotted. Okay, let's just watch from the lander's perspective. There's not much this guy can do right now. The grasshopper's gonna go for a flank. They know he's legged. All they need to do is hold the circle while this lantern just sits. It's really dangerous for him to cross either way. The grasshopper's gonna get an angle on this black lantern here. Ooh. Okay. My camera's bugged. Very sad. And this should be it. There it is.
Yeah, just a bit of a, a pathing error on DPS's side. Yeah, again, apologies for the uh, bugged camera. It, it happens every now and then. Did you go into their cockpits? I did, right at the end. The, I got a view of the lander and then my camera bugged out again. <laughs> yes, you don't, don't do that. The stick the overwatch, unfortunately. Very close match. Yeah, that got very down injured. to the wire there. It's interesting. In one second. Yeah. Just one second. So the next map is Forest Colony Conquest. Oh, Forest Colony Classic. Yeah, I was about to say, bad, no, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a second, let me read that again. What, what was that? Uh... I saw the picture, I was like, wait, is it right? This doesn't look like Forest Colony Classic. Nope. Is not. It's good to see close matches like that. I'm kind of excited. Yeah. That's awesome. This is why I like Ford lower division matches. Just, it's so much closer. <laughs> no, I was about to say, um... What's the name? No, no pre-course. Um, just na very narrowly um, beat Dragoons. Like, extremely narrowly. They won 3-2. Mm -hmm. One of the matches they won was 750 caps to 749 on Forest Colony Classic. And uh, another one, it was, um, it was 7 kills to 8 to 8 kill met kills. So then... Too bad we, too bad we as um, viewers missed that match. That would have been great to watch. But yeah, Div A matches can often be one-sided. But even even though sometimes they're one-sided, sometimes it's they appear one-sided. But if you look look into it a bit more, it can swing very easily either way. Yeah, some nice matches so far. I think the the biggest mistake um, in that one was Lady Wolf running away and then coming back. Yeah, they had been even, together. Even though her legs were sense. really, even though her legs were really weak, um, I think she just needed to stay there, and because that might have saved the Black Lena's legs. You know, they probably would have been able to kill the Miss Links and the Hunchback. Even if they had lost the Phoenix Hawk, and that would have been better than it would have been better losing the Phoenix Hawk and having the Black Lena have legs than keeping the Black Lena and the Phoenix Hawk both alive but both being legged. So they should have just taken that fight. And also, I'm not sure what happened with the fire starter and that where it was, but the fire starter, you know, obviously being where they were as well would have been great. Yeah, it's just that that initial jump on the hunchback costs that fire starter a lot a lot of armor it just all the blue laser mechs turned around and just zapped him <laughs> but yeah after looking at that match i think you were right in terms of ju them just sending it into stage rather than running around in the back yeah, the the flank it almost worked. Like obviously, if if they'd managed to pull them away um, and won by timer, it would have been great. Um. So, but yeah, I, I probably would have just tried to pressure the mechs inside the circle anyway. Um, and just see how that worked out. But yeah, it was it was super close. So it's hard to hold to fault that movement 
because it almost resulted in the win. Yeah, almost. Alright, looks like European Dragoons are locked. We're waiting for DPS. You know, one thing I will say, it is it is nice to see like a, a Twitch streamer that started out as just a, a pug now now she's in count, so <laughs> very nice yeah, to so see Lady Wolf do that. Yeah. When do we get to see Star Wolf play cop matches? <laughs> Pretty sure he's played matches before. He's certainly played in the comp queue in the championship series. Yeah, I've seen him there. I can't remember where he's... I would have thought he would have played at least one comp. At one point in time. Alright. He was so... casting a match last night. Yes, yes he was. Yeah, that was good. Both teams are locked, so let's, let's get this started. Let's do it. 495 versus 485. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, boy. They are bug my own spectator screen now. Oh no! <laughs> ah, I fixed it. You know when you like click off the screen onto your other screen, and then you click back, and it's some, and it just moves constantly right or left. Yeah, I've... had that. Yeah, but I managed to fix it. Okay, um, let's have a look. Euro Dragoons, ER Large again, Dire Wolf ER Large, Night Gear ER Large, Supernova ER Large. Ooh, a 10 small pulse linebacker, cool. That's awesome. Um, what else we got? A 12 small pulse Stormcrow, two 12 small pulse Stormcrows, small pulse machine gun Lynx, and a heavy machine gun small pulse. So they've three traders and five really like rush types. On the other side. Ooh, this might be fun. Yeah, three and five split. Okay, on the other side we have two Warhammers, two Arctic Wolf ones, Marauder Four L, Dire Wolf B. Seems like they went two traders and some mid range. It looks like it. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I'm. Oh. Almost coughing to death. Oh, it looks like they're coming out near the tunnel. Oh, double, double ERPPC light gorse warhammers. I don't know if you said that. Sorry, I was. I might have missed it. We're about to see a push from the tunnel. Uh oh. oh. Direwolf saying is in his direwolf is getting struck quite heavily. Oh, here's the big push. They did respond. Focus the ones on the ground. Focus them. Get the oh, Arctic wolf. No. <laughs> Just get him! Take the fight! Oh no, they're not focusing very well. Uh, the they're getting they're getting the Marauder's in. legs, eating Kiron's legs. And then they're ignoring him! Dubious, don't ignore him! Oh no. He just lost an arm for that. Now they have to go back in there, they're getting shot in the back now. They need to get that they need to get that Marauder done. His right leg's cherry, he's legged and Oh, get him! He's gonna get struck killed! The oh, strike Oh there it goes. The, the strike might have got him then. So it's one to one now. That was I don't know, I feel like they should have got a lot more out of that push, eh? A lot more. Yeah, just feels it feels like they they um they messed that up a little bit, honestly. Yeah, the focus fire wasn't wasn't quite there. They could have easily got a, a kill on the Arctic Wolf if they just focused it straight up. And now they're sort of stuck in this area, they'd probably just have to run away from here. Oh, Jubius is one touch CT. He's been slapped by some big, big DPS. Um, sorry, pinpoint. Yeah. Or Wolf in the Javelin is red. one touch rear torso. The linebacker with ten small pulse is almost legged, right leg. Looks like those yeah, Warhammers that... are getting close to the and traders. And the, the Stormcrow, Demon Hunter, and the Stormcrow is cherry red 
interior. Like he's almost cooked, killed himself from overheat damage. These Warhammers have... Look, this is a mistake. Look at the Warhammers. Yeah, they're just walking straight in. Just finish them. Finish them off. Kill them. It looks like the Dragoon's lights are trying to come back and deal with the Warhammers. Maybe they're oh. staying. Killer should have died then. He copped it all on the left torso instead of the CT. Yeah, this Jade Kite is really taking it today. What the heck? He's in half. Titan Prometheus is halved against these Warhammers. Oh, that Supernova. That Supernova's disgusting. <laughs> oh, there's a counter push going on. It's like Fritzor is getting murdered. Oh, I don't know how these Warhammers survived like this. I felt like that was the biggest mistake and it just didn't happen. It looks like the DPS lights have come to clean up the mess they made. <laughs> yep. Wow. It's a nice recovery. Excellent recovery, yeah. I'm really surprised these Warhammers didn't get dunked on pushing up that close. But, yep, it's worked out for them. They've done well. And it's just clean up time now. That was really well played by them, especially receiving that push from the tunnel. The yeah, great job. We Extremely lucky that that Euro Dragons didn't focus one particular mech in that push and then just run away. But yeah, great receive. Managed to come out better from it. Even down mechs. And they managed to clean up well. Good work. Yeah, it almost felt like one of those mislinkses got hurt in the beginning, and that's kind of what scared them off from the Marauder. That's why he got away. Alright, cool. And now we switch teams. Next map is read this Grim Plexus, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I'm still on the fence about this domination thing. It, it feels like if we get a really good symmetry, symmetrical map for domination, it works out, but like Tourmaline is, is kind of notorious for having lopsided game mode sometimes. Yeah, but then in saying that, the one match we did watch was really good and yeah, super close. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> So it sort of like immediately defeats it, right? So like, yeah, it it does it can be imbalanced. The main thing for me, I suppose, as long as maps aren't insanely imbalanced, of course. Yeah, as long as I don't it's mind not having I don't mind having one map, one side of one map being a bit stronger than another, like in a traditional you know trade for trade sense. As long as it's balanced th throughout the, the week, right? The five drops are balanced. So if there's one, you know, if you're team 1-1-1 one, 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 and then team 2-2, two, two, as long as you're not strong across, like, all three of those drops and then it's not balanced compared to the other side, I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so then you just have to sort of make sure that one... Like, team 1 or team 2 for the week isn't just stronger rather than just the individual maps because then you can um you know if you've got the disadvantage side then you can come up with other strats you know that might not you might normally not take to try and try and make yourself have the advantage or try and get the win out of a a, a poor side so there's that part too mm -hmm. speaking of there's star wolf <laughs> yeah, yeah he was around
pretty sure when we um, closed the stream, he was like the only one to sort of say like, ah, oh, the stream's dead. Ah. Start, you know, when we restarted at the, at the start of the um, cast. Curious to see what DPS has cooked up next. It's starting to run out of brawling mechs. Saw double Arctic Wolf, double Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, actually, I haven't really been keeping keeping um complete track of the choices, right? Hmm. Hmm. So we've seen double Warhammer, double Stalker from them. Lots of night gears from uh, European dragoons. Looks like DPS is locked. Four seventy five tons. Keeping it slim. Yeah, I think that's a big indicator. These these guys are are bringing some very quick mechs. Yeah, um, I, I want to see like a team do the old school, like I'm um, calling it, they're going to push and then just bring a ton of AC2s. Just do the old school receive. Hmm. All right, it's like Dubious Squirrel is locked. So let's... Good to go. <laughs> No, no, no! Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Man, this is has been a really quick cast. We're already at the fourth match. Yeah, man, they're not messing about. Good on them. I wish every division was like this. That would have been awesome. <laughs> Div NGC is probably a sweet point. I don't know, I'm just guessing, but Div A obviously is slow as fucking anything. Div E, I don't know, they probably... I think we've done a few Div E casts. They're not too bad. Div C might be just the sweet point for that in terms of being ready and prepared, but also not ruminating too much on everything. Let's have a look. We've got Star Wolf, SRM Bomber, Executioner with a Brawler build, Executioner LBX, Laser Brawler build, Medium Pulse Linebacker, Mist Links, yeah, Black Lantern, yeah, it's just. Full on brawl, send it. Go over here. DPS. What do we got on the other side? EUs? We've got two Arctic Cheetah E's, Stalker 5S, another Rancor, and a Timberwolf Bounty Hunter with a Vapor Eagle 1 and a Grasshopper 5H. It's sort of standoffish I presume, range. I presume they're all, yeah, they're all tried again, yeah. Well, unless they manage to get a lot of damage done to them early on, they're going to get just completely rolled with this brawl push. Yeah, that's... That's the danger would, of bringing a lot of range. These this laser vomit hunchback and Timble, if I'd be getting the hitting them up straight away. They can't escape. Yeah, I feel like all four of these guys on the European Dragoon side are about to get rolled. Yeah, oh, 100 percent all day you just jump straight on the legs of the hunchback and the timby. I bet you they've stripped their legs somewhat too because they're, you know, laser vomit. Yeah, look at this. Sinks. They're getting closer. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this is where you need you need the Arctic Cheetah to throw up double UAV, scout their whole team, see what they're bringing, and just like oh, just leg it. Like oh, he's seen him. Up. Where's the? Yep, he's got the UAV. Perfect. But is it too late? Look, the Timby's running away, oh, but get the Timby. Get the Timby. Oh no! 
Get the TMB. Get oh, him. Oh, there it is. There it is. Stop it. Oh, Shoot he's legged. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, they've hunchy already next. jumped on the hunchback. Yeah, hunchy next. God, yeah, that's go. disgusting. <laughs> oh, you could just see it happening. The hunchy managed to get out, though. I mean, they'll well, probably still of. get him, but he has he's sort of managed to run away. Oh, look, the flea's hitting the grasshopper in the rear, too. Goes over. No, just take that fight. Oh, What's he going to do? He's a five-year large roller. grasshopper. Just kill him. Yeah, I think it's... I'd be incredibly surprised if DPS won if um, DPS lost from this point. Yeah, their, their push was really good. They came in yeah. from all sides with everything. That was nice. Yeah, no, nah, this is just... Oh, man, that's cool. That's cool to see that. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know what? Like the long range deck, it does have a chance. It's not like this is a like a, a hundred percent definite, right? But they needed to scout and then they needed to set up for it to work. Yeah. Otherwise, this was what happens. They didn't have the scan information. They got it, but then by that stage, it was too late. You know. They needed those, that timber from the hunchback on the base of the hill with all their ER large mechs just with eyes on that push area. Right, it, it should have been the two cheetahs in Fox 7 rather than having four mechs there. That was yeah, yeah. a bit of a mistake. I understand what they were trying to do, close. like have nice laser vomit for that mid-range burst in case it's a trade battle. But they've got to, they've got to, and teams have to learn this, you know, teams of everyone. You have Scouting is the most important thing you can do at the start of the match. If they had scouted that team and what they were doing, like 100% they'd, they'd be able to... They could at least have a chance to counter it, but as it happened, look at that, 8-0, bang. Caught them with their pants down. Command is happy to hear of your Very dominating. Achievements on the surface. Show of strength there. The the Exe brawl push. Yeah, I, I love seeing executioners run around, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty executioners, boys. gargoyles. Yeah, those are those are my favorite. Hey, look at that. Just ran straight over the top of them. Beautiful. Well, Anyone watching, playing, that's that's a perfect example of how you brawl push. Well done, DPS. Right. Code's been published. Yeah, I've been sending you the APIs. Right. Last one. Wow, last match in 46 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Speed run. What is it? Conquest Bog? I think... Yes, yes, Conquest Bog. I always like to see the fifth drop in these these uh, limited like mech things because then you start to see the interesting stuff. They burn through what, their lanterns, their stalkers, the the typical stuff, right? Yeah. Now the interesting stuff will come out. <laughs> is it three one now? Or is it yeah, two, that two? should be that should be the score. It's three one. Mm hmm. Because DPS track, won Canyon. Yep, yep, it is. Yeah, 3-1, yep. Yeah, they won Canyon, they won Forest, and they won Grim. Yeah. Yeah, the aggression is, um, is definitely winning on the matches here.
So I think I think DPS is out of Black Lanterns. Mm. So maybe we'll see Dervishes or something. Dervishes and Vulcans, probably. Some more some more um match results just came in. Japanese Gibberish, which is a team combined of GNX and um and KDCM. Beat RJF four one. KDCM and GNX, wow. Yeah, KDCM GNX, yeah, combined to form one team for this competition. Yeah, that should be a pretty strong team. That's a pretty good dynamic because like KDCM doing the lights and mediums and then GNX doing the trading. Yeah, I wonder I'll have to I wonder how they'll um they'll split up that. Hopefully they'll get cast in the future. Yeah, I'll have to get back into casting. This is this is kind of fun. I will admit, though, I am a bit biased. I I like casting the lower division matches because there's there's a lot of fun going on down here, and no one sees it. I think they're both locked. So I want to send it. Yes, Five ten are. tons versus four seventy though. Is DPS just going to push again? Mm, possibly. <clears throat> I'd imagine so, with 470 tons. That's minus 60 tons. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good indicator of something funny. Hopefully Euro Dragoons have have removed um, some of their trade and put a bit more DPS receive in there. Oh shit. Here we go again. Man, no. What this thing? Do it! Just do it! Okay. Let's have a look. What do we got? DPS. No, Gorsi are Pete Marauder. Two Gorsi are Pete Marauders. A flea, vipers, double viper. That's a kitchen sink viper. Fire out! Look at that. Um, Gorsiar large night gear. Coming in. Capture and hold the resource point. Misty uh, winks. Holy shit! You're right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was that viper bit? I don't know. Three uh, PPC summoner. I'm gonna go back to the viper build in a second. <laughs> no, you that won't. is crazy. EU Dragoons, double heavy machine gun Javelin, 3 RP Beagle, ER Large Grasshopper, ER Large Warhammer, ER Large Gorse Dyer, ER PPC Gorse Marauder, They're 3 Large Pulse data. Beagle. Cool. Yeah, okay, so they've gone trade, but they do have a 3 Large Pulse Beagle, which is probably a little bit more DPS-y. Where's this Viper? Come here, Viper. Uh. No, Viper. Not that one. It's an Orin. Mitsu Red's Viper. Let's have a look at it. You should look no? at both Vipers. <laughs> no, no, the Mitsu Red's Vipers, I think, is fine. Yeah, oh, it's. Yeah. No, that's five small four pulse and six ER micros. That's not that's not a problem. Um, but is it. Zonarun? Eight? Yeah, it should be Zonarun. He's the one with the, the kitchen seat. Two building. regular machine guns, two heavy machine guns. Four micro pulse, one small pulse. Hmm. I'm. I don't know exactly. I'm going to presume that four heavy machine guns and five micro pulse would be better than upgrading that small pulse. Oh, it's a bit of training going on. Some marauders up high. Dial of Sang's getting a lot of fire on him. Getting struck. Looks like the dragoon's lights are about to get jumped by this mistlings. They should be able to get out. They got a UAV up, so just run away. Don't let the Vipers and the Lynx get you. Just run off. Off you go. Yeah, that's a good choice. That's a good choice to run away from that. Yeah, run away now and now go bother Theta, I'd say. Pretty even in the trade so far. I don't see anyone. Let's have a look. 
The Warhome has red armor. The Dire Fritzor is still alright. I think the Euro Dragoons, there's too many mechs on this one spot, have you noticed? There's four yeah, traders on that hill. I think it's a little bit. I would say one or two is good, but four is just. Yeah. Yeah, three's three's definitely max for me. I don't think I think four's too much. I think one of them needs to move away. Oh, look at the fourth guy. The direwolf can't even get up there and trade. He has to stay no, low. No, no. Oh, that was a bad peak. Yeah. The Warhammer 6D is now open, open orange left torso. Looks I like wonder if he's running XL on, on that. DPS has gone in on Theta. They're going after the javelins. Yeah, but they're three two. Look, again, this is yeah, this isn't going well. Oh yeah, they're getting traded. Jubis is really team. hurt. He might not get out. Jubius might not get out. No, he's he's oh, trying. He's, many, he's done it, but it's it's not pretty. <laughs> yeah, that Marauder open, looked at open, him. Open orange him. left torso, double right, double um legs red. He's he's not happy. Yeah, they're sort of stuck back there. I don't think they can again. Really they've, do much. they've taken trade superiority, but they just haven't they haven't taken the angles. Yeah, and the right torso on the on Fritzor's direwolf is almost popped, and one, and we know once that goes. He's down to. He's going to be down to. Um, well, with that mech, he's going to be down to one ER large once that right torso is gone. So he may as well just ignore C, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cap control from DPS winning the trades. I don't like the look of this for Euros. They're going to have to do something. And it's definitely not sit, sit in a big huddle in the corner like they're currently doing. They're going to need to move out. They look like they're trying to make a move, but they're already so hurt. Their Vapor Eagles are fairly fresh. And I, look at Thilas in the Nike AD. He's in the lily pads. <laughs> look at him. What are you doing down there? He's still getting shots. Yeah, it's you 100%. Shoot? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think he was in that bottom left and he just thought, no, i got to get up there. Yeah, because all the traders are gone now, so I figured... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just funny to see him just wandering around down the li lily pads just by himself. There's not much for him to do, honestly. <laughs> no. This big push is going on here, but DPS have responded great to it. Ton of machine gun fire going through. Yep. There's the leg on the Vapor Eagle. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think Zero this is... Two. Yeah, no. I'm not confident. Ooh, okay. This Viper's out. out. Nah, it's too much. They've done too much damage. Yeah, that is... It's an L it's LFE Warhammer, at least. But he's dead anyway. Nah, too much trade. Too much trade, and, um... I mean, that can work, but the positioning wasn't... wasn't up there, either. And look, the machine guns just tearing them to pieces. That's all she wrote! Yep, looks Lord like it. Oh no! He's going, he's going. <laughs> it's just, just all the these machine guns, guns and red lighters. <laughs> <is like, laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Aggression wins the day. There you go. There we go. Chiron doing almost Published 700 them. damage. Nice close games anyway. Yeah, that Tourmaline were, match was pretty good. I think there were two that were, um... Two that were pretty one-sided, weren't there? Yeah, the Grimplexus one and, uh... Which, uh mm, which this one. Was? Yeah, this one this was one, yeah. pretty spicy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good game, good start for DPS, definitely. Yeah, great start for very them in week one. Awesome to very see. Strong, very strong team, for, considering it's DPS's second team, right? They've got a team in Div B as well. So. Oh. I presume they do it first and second team. Maybe they don't. Maybe they've split them more evenly than I thought. Whatever the case, that was pretty good. Yes, yeah, almost much. So do we have any more casts? I haven't looked for today. I think Star Wolf is... Oh no, that was yesterday. 
Yeah, I'm going to get the schedule open. Um... Kong Lord. Fjord oh, versus that, CDU yeah. A in Div E. Now that, this is, that'll be F F Fjord's first game. That's their first comp game like in, in recent times. They might have played one match or they might have played in Championship Series like in the comp queue. Can't remember. Both the, the Div A games have been played. The Div B games were both cast. Yeah. Okay. Two more casts. There'll be Legio versus 228. That's tomorrow. Star Wolf. And then tonight will be Fjord, City UA, Kong Lord. Okay. Mm. So that's good. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five casts. Let's, let's aim for more than that, of course, in the future. But that's a good little start. Great. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Yep. That was good. Good to see nice C kicking off. Fun. Yeah, that were, that were really nice games. I enjoyed those. Thought they were quite good. All right, thank you, Becklaw. Mm-hmm. Right. See you guys later.